I'm Denver 7's Wanye Reese outside of Wyatt Academy. Some big news coming down today. We are learning that a motion to close this school has failed. That's coming from the school board. They had a meeting this morning that started at 7 a.m. and it lasted an hour. Let me tell you, the principal of Wyatt Academy advocated for the school. She took dozens of questions from board members asking about the sustainability of keeping the school open and how it's going to work. She answered each and every question. And finally, as the meeting started to come to a conclusion and we started to hear the yays and the nays, it came down to a vote of five to four. Very, very slim, but just enough votes in order to keep Wyatt Academy open. Once that news came down, I saw a dad who was walking right here down the street. He was so excited. You can say that he was on cloud nine because of the decision. He spoke with me about what this means to him and his family. Take a listen. I feel a lot relief because like I said, this community has strived a lot and this school has come here a lot. I lived in the neighborhood for 40 years and I've seen this school come a long way, especially the neighborhood. And uh, I'm really, really excited that we're going to keep the school open because it helps a lot of the families that don't have that opportunity to take their kids somewhere else and they can stay here and enjoy this beautiful community that we have changed. During that board meeting this morning, we also learned that there are organizations throughout the community who are looking to support Wyatt Academy in a financial way. Reporting in Denver, I'm Wanye Reese, Denver 7.